one of the things we are doing, uh, Will, is that we are working assiduously to ensure that we improve Antigua and Barbuda's um, uh, uh, doing business um, ranking. As you know, the World Bank uh, every year publishes uh, ranking um, countries. Um, they're ranked according to how well they're able to entertain investors, how well they're doing in terms of the, the environment or the climate for doing business. Antigua and Barbuda ranks pretty high, but we are not going to sit on our laurels. We want to improve. And that's why the Antigua and Barbuda Investment Authority, uh, we were able to secure uh, funding from Compete Caribbean and the uh, Inter-American Development Bank, and we are working to make sure that we can improve our ranking because we're not going to stop until we become number one. That's our goal. Again, just uh, trying to get into some of the administrative details. Uh, there would be, a, let's say, a national, local person uh, doing an existing business. No, we're not here to try to, uh, well, we can't discourage competition. Com competition in business would always be there. But if there's, uh, we would know that there is an existing business, let's say they may be even coming to get assistance with your mind, your business programs, in terms of uh, you know advancing their knowledge as to how to operate an effective business. And then you get a proposal for exactly similar business. Uh, is there a, a turn down for that person or we try to still welcome everyone to be a part of what's happening in terms of the economy development? Well, we try not to, um, uh, well, we, we, we do not discriminate, um, but the Antigua and Barbuda Investment Authority is very conscious uh, of um, the need for us to support um, and encourage um, business in Antigua and Barbuda. So definitely, if there is a, um, a local uh, business that would like to venture into a, a specific area, uh, and that opportunity is there, um, we are going to look uh, uh, and to ensure that that local business get the best chance to be able to establish that business. Um, last two years, we've focused heavily on trying to um, bring information uh, to aspiring entrepreneurs and existing um, and business. I know some time ago, people uh, did talk about the fact that there, there, there appeared to be uh, a, a sense that um, foreign direct um, or foreign investors were treated um, differently from local uh, investors. That is not the case with us. We are very open. Everybody knows what the incentives are, what the requirements are to start a business. And like I said, we are very open to um, uh, getting people to understand uh, how they can take advantage of, of opportunities uh, that are there for them. Okay. Uh, Jamal, let me just ask to you uh, to just share with us a little bit about some of what you do. Uh, we would have seen that you would have done a uh, fantastic job with uh, rebranding and reconfiguring uh, the website for the ABIA. But uh, tell us a little bit of your uh, trade, uh, your, your, your progression in terms of work um, uh, for your G Productions company in terms of what all you do. Well, currently we, are, we specialize in graphic designing and website designing, as you can see with the ABIA website. We also we specialize in rebranding companies. We're trying to push that every business in Antigua develops a website to get ahead because there are many benefits of having a website. You can be open 24 7, you provide information, you can get feedback from customers, mm -hmm. and your competition already has a website. So if you want to be competitive in the global market, you need a website. So currently, that's what we're, we're mainly pushing. We, we even open the doors that we can provide websites for anyone around the world from right here in Antigua. Anyone can actually contact me through my website. You can contact the investment authority because we specialize in outsourcing technology. Okay. We, we want to outsource our talent. And me being a, a local entrepreneur, I am willing to work with anybody anywhere in the world. So how far can you take it? When you would have developed a website, are you able to uh, set up and maintain and maybe monitor uh, me doing our uh, financial transactions online? Can persons then from the website that you would have developed been able to do purchases and uh, we do a, a bill of sale on that or we still have to get an external uh, provider to be able to do that? No, right here in Antigua, we provide all the e-commerce solutions that you need. We, we offer websites in different packages. You know, you have the static website, the, the basic general, you have the interactive website where people can go and interact with you or your staff and also the e-commerce where you can sell your items, sell your services and get your money right here in Antigua. To have local banks that facilitate that transaction process and you can stay wherever in the world and monitor your your expenses, your selling, your everything right from the website. We would have heard in recent times that even Target, one of the department chain stores in the U.S. would have had issues where uh, there would have been a security breach. Um, uh, speak about the importance of uh, monitoring websites and your staff, well, your uh, service to be able to make things secure online. I know 
a picture gets online and they can get around the world in the 30 seconds. Yeah. Uh, tell us exactly how secure would uh, doing business with you be? Now, what we specialize in, we have a whole security team. We have a 10-step security process that we apply to each one of our websites. We can boast that right now our websites have never been hacked. What happened with Target was a little leak in their system. Something went wrong and somebody left the back door open. Somebody went in and wiped them out. That hasn't happened to us and that will probably never happen to us. Yeah. We, we have stringent technology that we can monitor when somebody's even trying to hack into the website and we'll block them right away. Okay. So it sounds like you have two dead bolts then at the back of your door. Definitely. All right, no definitely. problem. <laughs> uh, Dr. Emmanuel, uh, what's next? We would have now done the launching or the rebranding of the ABIA. Uh, what's next in terms of the outlook or future endeavors or initiatives that will be coming from uh, the ABIA apart from the re-instituting uh, or second phase of the... Third phase. Uh, third third phase, phase sorry. Um, uh, for that initiative uh, that would have done the construct Antigua. What's next? Well, you know, we just have the uh, uh, Parliament pass the, um, the Tourism and Business Special Incentives Act. Um, this act um, provides for more lucrative uh, incentives or concessions for business. Uh, the Antigua and Barbie, the investment authority, is charged with managing uh, this um, uh, program. And so it became uh, effective on April 17th. It's now in force. And we have a number of businesses that have already applied and will be taking advantage of these incentives. So we're going to be doing that. We, uh, we are focusing on our outsourcing um, and, um, program. Um, where we're going to look at uh, uh, medical area. Uh, we are continuing to, again, uh, aggressively market Antigua and Barbuda with this new website. Our team will, um, and, and I want to just take this opportunity to say to the staff and the uh, acting executive director and everybody who has worked so hard uh, to make the ABI what it is, I want to say uh, publicly uh, uh, thank you to them, to our minister, Minister Lovell, uh, for giving us the opportunity to serve the people of Antigua and Barbuda. So we're going to press forward, uh, continue to market aggressively so that Antigua and Barbuda can get those opportunities uh, coming uh, from outside and, of course, to continue to shore up uh, our business sector um, locally. Thank you yeah. very much. Well, we've been speaking to Dr. McChesney Manuel, chairman of the Antigua Barbuda our investment authority board and also Jamal Good Goodwin. He's owner of the G Productions, uh, design of the, of course, new website uh, that has been launched and rebranding and giving us a new face and color uh, for the ABIA. Also, he has his private practice, if I can say that, uh, not as a medical doctor, but in terms of his uh, website and all their uh, electronic services that he do offer for his company. So contact them on the government, on the website, and then you can, of course, get more information here. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming in. All the rest to you. Hope you had a good Labor Day. And, uh, it's time to be back in the work feeling again. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm William Dorset. It's Good Morning Antigua Barbuda. We'll be right back in just a moment.